If you'd like to be paid to see the world, please pay attention to this important message from your flight attendant. Welcome aboard the Flight Attendant Life. You'll get free flights to exotic destinations, a cute dress with matching suitcase, and access to all the liquor minis you can dream of. In return, there's only one thing people expect, perfection. As a new flight attendant, one slip up will get you fired. And you need the job, because if you can relocate anywhere they tell you to, then spend 20 nights a month in 20 different hotels, you're running away from something. Arrive 30 minutes early for your 4 a.m. check-in. Carefully pin each strand of hair into a wisp-free French twist. When you work for an airline, seniority is everything. You'll have to earn the right to get fat and disheveled. If you don't like it, you know how to find the exit. Cheerfully pour 312 cups of OJ, 312 cups of tea, and 313 cups of coffee. One for you. Napkins go face up with the airline's logo pointed toward the passengers. Careful, a girl was actually sent home from training for f***ing this one up. One day, a man in business class will ring his call button and ask for an empty can of soda. Pour out a Canada Dry and give him the can. When he hands it back full and warm, try not to drop it in the aisle. For several years, you'll be on call, ready to go anywhere with just two hours notice. You'll fly to London and Paris and Tokyo and Hong Kong and so many cities you have to check the hotel stationery each morning to remember where you are. The loneliness won't be easy to cure. The passengers are angry and ugly and pay 200 bucks to fly 3,000 miles while still expecting the perfect, well-paid, well-rested 1960s stewardess. The pilots? They're senior citizens. And all male flight attendants are either gay or married or both. But that won't stop you from falling in love with one of them. You'll stand outside the door of his hotel room and think about knocking. You won't want to be there. Yet you'll want to be there more than anything you've ever wanted. You definitely should not be there. If you knock, another woman's husband will open the door. He presses you against the wall, his hands on your hips. You can't help but feel his wedding ring. He tells you again that he's to blame. You say, no, no, I'm not a good person. I'm far from perfect, but love me. Love me anyway. 